Right, howdy folks, how are we doing? It is uh, Tuesday today and temperature has peaked at around 41 degrees. Um, it is now 17.30 and um, there's a lot of fires about today and we've got a big bastard over there. The wind is really quite gusty today. Uh, well, it's really picked up this afternoon. I mean, it's like being in a fan oven. Um, and of course, that's just meaning uh, any fires about today, of which there's been a lot round here, um, you know, in the county light. Um, you know, the wind's just been pushing them at a hell of a speed. So, um, it's the other, you know, it's not going to threaten the farm, but, um, you know, we've got some wheat um, this side. Now, you know, we've got the tanker tanker is filled up ready with water just be on the safe side but uh, yeah it looks hell of a fire I'm just heading down now just to sort of see how far it's getting police and fire crews are battling it at the minute I am heading downwind um, it is starting over at Sandy so um, yeah, it's really starting to smell it a lot are you in up the college Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to... No, it's... Um, well, I can't see the fucking smoke net at the minute, but it's... Ah, uh, right. I'm going to have to move, because I'm going to... Eh? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, all right, mate, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. All right, cheers, mate. Bye, mate. Oh, here goes another one. Somewhere, can hear the sirens. Well, that was that. I was just coming up to the gateway and uh, Father in Law was just turning in. So, um, that's blooming handy. You can see, look. Yeah, bloody scary, isn't it? This weather, it only takes a blooming, could just take a bottle, it could. It's all it could take, just a, an old bottle discarded. But uh, yeah, it's not bloody good, is it? Or at least where that is aiming, if they can stop it at the road, uh, there's no houses in the way, there's no farms, there's no buildings. You know, it's just you know, it's just um, it just feels just crops like. So it's um, you know, which is better than you know people's you know belongings and houses and and livelihoods and that like that. I mean. These crops will be insured, so be expensive day for insurers today. Well, Richard's heading back to get the tanker. Holy crap! Yeah, that's come right up, a lot further than uh, we anticipated. But we've got, well, this is the only crop we've got here. We've got grass here. Although over the, see where that wood is in the distance? That, uh, we've got some beans over there. So, well, and to be fair, this grass is going to be ploughed up, so. But like I say, there's, well, I don't, we've got barns over that way sort of thing, but we should be safe. Let me get the other camera out. Been up here oh, 10 minutes or more now. Still no engines up here, lot. But I think hopefully one is finding its way up here at some point. But to be fair, it's already passed here. But um, I mean, I can't say how far down that way. Well, you see the end of the hedge down there. I don't know if I'm pointing the right spot. There's definitely flames down there. So I mean, it's getting down towards the road hopefully they'll stop it at the road but we've got to um, 
you know we've got a line across here but it's struggling to come this way because obviously the wind you can see with the grass wind is pushing it in that direction so so it shouldn't come too much further this way but yeah there's a lot of flames let me zoom in there's a lot of flames down there sorry for the shaky camera in bright sun I can't see too well You wouldn't want to be in its way anyway. Richard shouldn't be too long with a tanker, but I'm not entirely sure what he'll be able to do. I really don't. Here he comes now, actually, I can hear him. I can hear the tractor. Um, of course, it's not worth putting, you know, putting yourself at risk like. I mean, look at that bit there. That is the other thing. See that pole there, that's where the uh, gas pipeline goes. I hope there aren't any vents. Oh look, see the engines over there. Well they're the wrong, you're the wrong side boys. You're going to do a lot over there. Here comes Richard. 3,000 gallon of water on board. So I'm not sure what he's going to do, but... He's got a pressure that ready to roll. God's sake, don't set the tractor on fire, just... You know, it's smouldered across it, but it hasn't, you know, took off across it. It has slowed it up, innit? it? I'm not sure what, you know, 3,000 gallon of water will do, to be fair, but this temperature, it'll be, um, you know, it'll blooming be evaporating in seconds. Jeez. right in the smoke there where you can see him again Richard don't bloody set the thing on fire mate like well, I say at least it we can see it, it's burning there and it ain't really chucking itself over over onto the grass so it is breaking it a bit But it's funny how it's split because there's the other side you see these flames here well the other side whether you can see on the video there's fire blooming half a mile that way but it's clear crop in between so how it hasn't burnt the, the center section i don't know here he comes not on fire thankfully there is he there he is scary to tell you. You wouldn't want to be in its direct path like if a farm or your house you wouldn't want your blooming you wouldn't want to be uh, in its path you wouldn't stop the bastard. See what he's got to say where he's going to get some more water. What I had for 
we've got. We've got Highfields Farm there. And that ain't very bloody far away from uh, their buildings. So we're just heading back to the yard now. Gonna go and stick the discs on so we can create a bit of a fire break for them, hopefully. Right, so I've got the Joker on the fast track. Father-in-law has got the, the old discs on the TW. And we're just heading back up the field now. Looks like most. Uh, hold on, that's Richard. Here's Mike. I don't know at the minute. We're, I'm just pulling down to the fire engines. Um, we're up at high, obviously at high fields at the minute. Um, I'll ring you back in a minute. I'll go, I'm going to go and have a word with the with the fireman. Right, so it looks like we're on containment, as you can see the devastation. Um, fairly careful, we've got blooming farm and zoos here. I don't really want to puncture that. where they want us to do, they want to just knock this down off. this from creeping up anymore. Yeah, it's bloody scary it is to be fair. But at least at least the farm looks safe anyway. Jesus hates Christ. That's going well. So that's putting this fire break in. You know, it should, you know, we should do what it says, break the fire. So we've got the father and lorries on the T down with old discs. And we've got a Landini over there as well that's um, I can't see it a minute. Got one of the vouchers is there as well. Just try and stop this. everything up. Oh, what I have planned for the evening. Nice shower, ice cold coke, and uh, sit down in the aircon, but um, not the bee, was it? At least we know the old uh, fast track can handle the Joker anyway. So we get this chopped up nice, this bar won't be able to spread any further up. Some sort of cultivator on there, not sure what. 
Yeah, I, I don't know how far we've got. Well, that, that's the direction it was going. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's got over the road and got to our beans over there or not. I would hazard a guess that it has. You still see it fly raging over there. That's the Great North railway line. You can see in the distance. Luckily the wind is taking it away from the farm. It's taking it across bare arable ground. But obviously the important thing is now we stop, we stop it getting back to the farm. So you can see down there, this is a farmer's worst nightmare. Everything is tinder dry. The old Bridgestone VXs are working today. Good job I put them on because she wouldn't have pulled the Joker with them old, uh, them old tires on. You can see we're getting a nice bit of um, chopped up ground here now. Look. So it should stop it. Richard's still on the, he's still on tanker on our grass field and uh, he's putting a bit of you know, water on there to keep that at bay as well. Yeah, that's coming nice now. We're really holding this fire. I think this pass will do it, I just think. they've got it sort of contained at the road, I don't think they have, but they're going to come along here now and pat it down with their well, a bit of rubber on a pole by the looks of it. Alright, okay. Huh? What one is it? First leg, it's there, can you see? Guys, to be honest, yeah, knock it on the head. Yeah. There's no point punishing anybody anymore. We're not going to okay, that. We can do that with fingers. The MRB is down that corner. Hey, mate! Hey, mate! Knock that shit on the head. We don't need it. Knock it on the head. You want it made up? Missy. We will get it made up, but... I'm in shorts and t-shirt, it's 40 degrees and I'm sweating my arse off. And these old boys, it's a bit emotional to be fair, these old boys are um, fully kitted up. Fair play to them. Fair bloody play to them. I've got Richard behind me now. He's got uh, 3,000 gallon of water on board. So we'll just help put it out as well. We've got a bit up, up here that fire Fire suit man or woman is just about to put out with Richard's here, so yeah, bloody hell, what a night, what an evening. Sorry about the procedure, I'm walking and at the same time, it's recording. I've been able to get through. Hopefully caused a bit of a fire break. They're just going between them. They're going to try and cut through to the neighbours now. Try and stop that spreading up the field. Absolutely devastating. You spent all year growing a crop, looking after a crop, and this happens. We weren't doing anything. No combines on the go. They've been watching all day because everything's so tinder dry. I saw it on Facebook. Fire down Sunderland Road. They literally came out the back of the house, out the farmyard, and thought, oh God. I think we've got 10 fire, fire crews. Uh, plus, 
I don't know how many different people carriers there are. Farmer's out, we're out, and it looks like it's bridged the uh, railway now. crossing is that's the railway there is a building there yeah whether they've whether they've sorted that or not I don't know but um, it certainly seems to be easing up so hopefully they've got on top of it door now. Right, just folding up now we can just bob through the edge here like and um, just do the next field, get the next field. Same as we've done this one pretty much. Working um, put the steam out on. I don't know if he's still here or not, whether he's he might have, oh he's down there by the looks of it. So we're back over to our field now. Which took obviously it's took a bit of a hit down the bottom there, but um, you know it's certainly slowed it up here. It's still burning there. Oh, 
I thought that was an old tree. You know, that's a tractor. That in the oh Jesus, that in the voucher is it? Oh, I thought it was oh Jesus Christ. You're having a laugh. From over there, I thought it was just an old tree stump that had caught. That's the bloody Veltra. I'm sure of it. Well, that's blow oh, That's as easy. That's how easy it can happen. Bloody easy. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's well, hopefully he got out. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he got out, but Jesus H. Christ. Oh, we'll just pull up here a minute. Okay, now, we'll just switch to the other camera. A little bit of bloody fire there. Oh Jesus. Comes one of the main engines. Hopefully get it put out. Jesus Christ. Which one is it? It's the, it's the new one. Oh Jesus. It's the bloody new one. Oh what a bloody shame, what a shame. Uh, thankfully the old boy's got out, he's up the top at the minute, so uh, fucking hell, that's just how easy it can happen. Jesus. Oh that one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll sort it in it. <laughs> I'll sort it in it. He's Norfolk wide. Yeah. Yeah, Richard's coming back down with the tank. I told him to come in the beans there, like. If he draws through, well, as long as, you know, he's careful. As long as he draws through, fucking hell. That was a tyre. Oh, I think we're about done. We're just going to head up to the top of the field. Apparently there's some drinks up there. But, uh, oh, what a blooming day. I've got, um, We've got the voucher out now anyway. Blimey, them old tyres went with a good pop. Right, we'll jingle up the top. Yeah, I'm ready for me tea, like I so I think we're everything's under control now, I think. That's not something you want to experience too often. Right, well, everything's out. Um, eight o'clock now, so what's that been? Cut two and a half hours, I think. Um, yeah, everything's out. So we're all heading back now, but obviously we'll leave everything hooked up just in case. Um, yeah, shame the voucher went, but something is just so easy. You only need a little bit of ember getting in somewhere. What it was is a bit of ember got in, put a hole in the diesel tank. You know, sat in a crevice, put a hole in the diesel tank, start leaking diesels, what can you do? So, but, uh, you know, no one's got injured or anything like that, so, anyway, stay safe out there. It's been a bit of an emotional, long video, but um, hope you appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!